guys, it's your girl Mo. It's your girl Nani. It's your girl Honey. And we, we are, are the RBB Gals. Welcome back, guys, to season two. Season two. <laughs> Episode two. Episode two. And guess what? We have a feature today. Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Makara. And Makara, you want to tell us just a little bit about yourself? Sure. So I'm just a girl from New Jersey that's been all over the place, but I am a fashion entrepreneur. And I also do styling, but I've been venturing into the creative agency. So I've been doing a lot of advertising for independent fashion um, brands and as well as, you know, being like their brand news and um, brand ambassadors. That's amazing. You got all those different little titles. I like that. Yes, it's fun to just hop around, not stay stagnant right. into like one position. So, well, out we, here working. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, being an entrepreneur, do you just feel like you have to expand, like to constantly create, like reinvent yourself? Right. Um, I just always been someone that's always put my hand in multiple pots. I've always been like that since I was like a little kid. So. Now is the time where that's kind of been happening for everyone. Mm -hmm. That's how everyone's been like making their money. So this is kind of like something that I've I've been breathing all along. So putting my hand in every little avenue is kind of something I've been doing since I was like a little child. So my parents are not not surprised by me just hopping around doing a whole bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. and I'm still like sane. I know, no. that's right. How? Right? Yeah. Do you have an assistant to keep you focused? You said, do I have an assistant? Yeah, do you have an assistant? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. She's oh, real, guys. She's real. Out here. <laughs> Goals. Yes. That's awesome. So what we usually do um, at the beginning of the episode, we just did a little intro with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, this season, we're going to actually have specialty drinks, guys. Yes. We're not. We are leaving the champagne and Jose, Jose alone. alone. <laughs> we got it. We're doing better. <laughs> so today, we're just going to keep it simple for our featured guests, and we're uh, we have what is this mimosas? Yeah, mimosas. Yes. So we have pitchers on deck. Yes. And for anybody that doesn't know what mimosas are, what are they? Champagne. I'm doing two parts and one part orange juice for the color. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, pinkies up when you're drinking. Keep it classy. Yeah. We're doing a clink, 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 clink. So what are we toasting to? Hmm. New year. New, new year. year. Yes. 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 Clink, clink. New podcast, new goals. New you. New me. New yes. year, new me. Uh, That's the vibe. <laughs> It could be a new, <laughs> <laughs> new year, kind of same me, but yeah. you know, mm. we'll we'll see. Be being better than last year. Or I like yeah. new year, same me, different goals. Yes, I like there that. I like clink that. to that. Yeah, clink, yeah. Clink. yeah. Make, sure, make sure you write that down. <laughs> trademark I think, I think guys. I write that on the caption. So <laughs> uh, okay, maybe not trademark then. <laughs> But before we get into the meat and potatoes and everything, uh, RBB gals, what's hmm. been going on with y'all? I don't care, I'm just working. <laughs> Size. <Yeah. laughs> um, I do want to take just a minute, you know, kind of just apologize, I guess, to the fans, because we kind of, like, dipped. dipped off. Yeah. 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 Things got hectic. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot, guys. Like, it's Real a lot life going kicked on. in. It's a lot. <laughs> trying to do a business, the podcast. We're trying to bring a lot of new ideas and new things to you all next year, 2019. So yeah. we want to say stay tuned. Continue the support. Thank you for the support. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. And I'm pretty sure uh, Makarna is like just trying to be an entrepreneur probably in the beginning. You probably like you struggle. Oh, like yeah. it's, time it's a time management. Management. time management. Yeah. It's definitely hard. So we apologize, guys, but we are going to be better than ever. Yes. So look Season out for stronger. Yeah. yeah. Season two was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So Makara. Yes. <laughs> Where did you begin? Where was um, your start? Where did I start? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think about it. Um, fashion just kept coming into my life. I did not intend to be in it. Um, I wanted to be a model for all the wrong reasons. In like my seventeen, when I was seventeen, eighteen, trying to be accepted as a dark skin girl, that went wrong. So I kind of stopped that. Went to nursing. I got my nursing degree, and then I met a Ooh. stylist at an airport. Um, he told me to just come with him to a project 
And I said, okay, I like this. You know, people have been asking me to kind of like dress them and ask them for their opinion. So I kind of went underneath his wing. Then I did some um, internships at New York Fashion Week and the wheels just started like, the doors just started opening for me. And then like other stuff just started flourishing, but I wasn't really trying. So I'm just kind of like on the fence on whether or not I should do it because, you know, no one really glamorized fashion like that. Yeah. Um. So now that social media is, like, like booming, I've been, like, getting so many inquiries, and i kind of just been perfecting it these last, like, three years. Mm-hmm. Who were some of your, like, earlier fashion inspirations? If you I had will, any. I will yeah. always love Jewel Ambrose. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love her. Um, I mean, I've had inspiration, like, when I was younger. Yeah. I was always yeah. into fashion yeah, and stuff, yeah, too, same, so... so. Um, June Ambrose, um, I love Zarina Ackers, that's Beyonce mm-hmm. stylist. She's so colorful, I just love it. Yeah, I love um, her and I like a lot of like the micro influencers that you mm-hmm. see like on Instagram. I mm-hmm. don't really look so much into celebrities mm-hmm. and the big names because they kinda look at the street style. Like street style is more so taking over mm-hmm. the big luxury brands because mm-hmm. they are reaching out to influencers more so than like the celebrities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think that's the thing too, like um now with social media some people like start to see like i guess street style now and mm-hmm. they're like oh that's new and it's no. like no it's no. not it's <laughs> not been around that's good though so first off congratulations on being a freaking nurse like yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's a feat in and of itself i mean yeah. even yeah. if you don't whole use another it, beast. Uh, yeah that's a whole other piece <laughs> yeah. in and of itself but to really start like that did you feel when you got that person that was like oh come with me like to the you know take this chance did you have a moment where you're like this is a scam i shouldn't do this no because he took me on set on a movie dear white people so it was oh, like okay. a real thing oh, okay. so it was like a real stylist okay. it wasn't like one of those scammers no 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 uh, okay <laughs> you're walking down the street like <laughs> come into yeah, this building just like, no. No. <laughs> um but yeah he was very supportive he was and i was just like well this scene the la scene the west coast was just not my thing I'm, okay okay i'm very blunt yeah <laughs> my east mouth, coast my mom <laughs> very snazzy and i was like i don't like this so he was like just try on the on the east coast so i just went back mm-hmm. to the east coast and it went well so i said it's definitely ah. a different fashion yeah it's a different Style. vibe yeah, it's, it's a different vibe, vibe on the yeah. west coast yeah, yeah. <laughs> so i can see that so did you can you say like the beginning of transitioning into your career was it easy like for you or did you kind of have some times where you're like oh I just need to go back to nursing? Oh <laughs> uh, well I'm stubborn I'm hard headed so <laughs> I, 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 I took things the long way when I didn't need to but mm-hmm. yeah leaving out the nursing field like I didn't I like it mm-hmm. but I don't love it because mm-hmm. I knew the politics was going to start getting hand to hand and mm-hmm. when Business, the government yeah. froze in 2013 I was like yeah I need to leave yeah. like for good. Mm-hmm. Um yeah for me to leave nursing like it wasn't that hard but yeah. I knew I wanted to help people but just not in that capacity of the mm-hmm. health field so it was just finding like my niche in the fashion industry cuz mm-hmm. I knew I was not liking Styling celebrities, they're mm-hmm. a headache. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they are Can a headache. imagine. Yeah. Uh, I said I might as well just stay in the health field for this. So I just had to like find my way through mm-hmm. it. So figure out what your passion was. Yeah. yeah. And how did you transition from you know doing modeling and and um, styling to becoming like a full entrepreneur in your journey? Uh, well, when I was going to like these little parties where like the designers would like showcase their collections, I don't even think they have it anymore. I forgot what you would call it, but they would like invite models to come to the party. You would wear like their design, and like people would ask you like what you're wearing. Mm. Um, so you have to wear like all black before you get there. But me being hard headed and stubborn, like I would not, I would never <laughs> wear black. I would never wear black. I would wear like these gaudy earrings, accessories. <laughs> I would just be always just be outspoken by my visual appearance. I've always just been like visual. Mm. Um, I always draw people in visually instead of you like knowing that I'm in the room verbally like you always knew I was there mm-hmm. in the room visually it's like see me first yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. I don't. So, <laughs> so that's kind of how I don't know I kind of just put that in my head people always people always tell me that so I kind of just figured it out like I think advertising is more my niche of fashion so that's kind of how I found my way like I think this is 
what I'm good at without even like feeling like it's work. Okay. So you found your passion, right? And now you're making money off it, right? Hashtag goals. goals. <laughs> Super goals. Super goals. So where are you going now? What's what's in the horizon for you? So right now I'm like putting together my team for the creative agency, and I'm kind of like putting my packages together on how I want to um, advertise them, as well as like putting together like lookbooks or sponsorships or. You know, just anything visually communicating, like, what they want to do. And I also am taking, like, analytic classes Mm because I also want Mm -hmm. you guys to see, you know, what your strength, what your, um, what you're strong in, what your weakness and stuff like that. Instead of just seeing, like, oh, I have such, such likes. Like, no, I want you to see, like, more in depth with the digital stuff. So, which is so important. Yeah. Yeah. So much deeper than likes. Yeah. (laughs) Especially transitioning, like, um, just kind of going into the social media aspect of it. Mm-hmm. How do you kind of focus for your actual page and brand and mm-hmm. niche on your social media? Um, For my social media, I just know that I'm very good at putting stuff together. And mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what age group, I kind of can attract. Mm-hmm. So when I meet with the brand, I kind of ask them, like, what, are your, what is your goal? Mm-hmm. Who do you want to attract? And mm-hmm. I kind of just draw that in. If I, and that's what I, I'll do for, like, the brand. Like, what is your goal? What do you want to accomplish? What do you want your brand to stand for? So um, just looking at my Instagram, what do you guys like? feel like I attract? Mm-hmm. I so think you're like, it's definitely uh, age range, definitely. I would say at least 18 to 36. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, people of color. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. who have not so, what can I say? Like, not basic. <laughs> not basic. <laughs> but... <laughs> Basic taste. <laughs> like, you know, like some people who actually, you know, like I said, like I've always been into fashion and just like different things that like different patterns and colors that people would be like, oh, that's doing too much. It's too bright. It's not matching. It's like, I like stuff like that. Right. Yeah. So I feel like like your sunglasses, like bringing that into podcast now, <laughs> like yeah. those are definitely something that I feel like would attract me because it's like something you wouldn't see on a regular basis when you look for sunglasses. Right. Yeah. yeah. Definitely like to be an individual. I really like your page. Um, your Instagram page is very colorful, but then it's very classic and timely, and then it's bold. It's yeah. just there's like a lot there. So. Yeah, and it still has like yeah. that minimalistic like yeah. feel to it. Yeah. Like it's like just exactly. like clean and clean. Yeah. clean. Yeah. Go go look for it, guys. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go take a look. <laughs> yes. Well, that was the goal that I was trying to go for. It's to kind of keep in the in the midst of you know college students that are trying to come out of school, mm-hmm. and then the people who are like settling in their careers and still trying to look um, fashion forward and trendy. So, yeah. mm-hmm. so that's definitely the age group you guys got it on spot. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <With that>. <laughs> <laughs> And how do you balance um, your wants, desires in your career with the demands that come with you know maintaining relationships? Oh God! Yeah, we're, we're going in. Yes. <laughs> now it's, now it's brunch, guys. <laughs> got the meat and potatoes. <laughs> um. Okay. So relationships. What type of relationships? You gotta be very particular. With. Okay. okay. We, we have it down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's start with platonic. Like your yeah. friendships. Yeah. How do you just balance being an um, entrepreneur? You're being out here, being a public oh, figure. Boy. Um, I mean, yeah. some friends just have to get left behind. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> Say a word. They just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, snacks over here. <laughs> Say a word. Um, they just don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like, the sacrifices you have to do, the roles that mm-hmm. you have to do, the hats that you have to put on, um, the amount of work, the amount of, like, customer service. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot that you have to do, and they just don't want to get on board. And on top of that, they're not supportive. So that automatically mm-hmm. is, like, mm-hmm. a cut. Um, as far as the friends that are on board, you kind of just have to, like, let them know, mm-hmm. you know. You don't have to let them know, like, everything, but... At least they're on the page of like your alignment of your goals, mm-hmm. and they'll be a little bit more lenient. Mm-hmm. A lot of the times, my friends now they're kind of like on the same path as me, like they're trying to get their own business, mm-hmm. they're mm-hmm. trying to so, so that would be right. Um, but a lot of them are not like on the same path. Like the one that I'm very close with, she's like a beauty expert, mm-hmm. so she's kind of aligned with my business, but she's not. Right. But she does understand the hustle. Um, another one's like an A and R for like a music group. So I mean, we're kind of on the path, but I also can help him because you know I can tell them you know what to wear or whatever. But anything, th- my friends around me are like kind of aligned with mm-hmm. what I have going on. But mm-hmm. a lot of them I had to leave behind, or they got family, and I'm just like, well, 
I don't got no responsibility right. except for this business, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yeah. <laughs> It's definitely, we like, definitely talk like about that, that all, the time, <laughs> all, the time. Like all the time. Because that's just, you know, just going into business in itself is hard for people who don't have that same kind of business mindset. Mm-hmm. And or creative in general. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That creative yeah. desire to like, yeah. You yeah. tend to gravitate more to like friends or people who are creatives now because you guys are in the same space, in the same headspace. Is uh, it easier to make friends that way? Or if you're, I don't even know if you're making friends. I don't know if applications are coming through, but yeah. <laughs> be accepted and reviewed. <laughs> I don't even know, because right now I've been, like, really, like, just nipping people and just, mm-hmm. like, I got to go. Because y'all, <laughs> y'all lagging me behind. i just been reading, i just been meeting, like, random people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so just connecting. Just, yeah, um, just connecting. Yeah. If, it, if we're friends, we're friends. If we're not, we're not. Like, I'm okay with just having, like, a small, a very small circle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Associates, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and I don't need to talk to my friends every day. Like, just mm-hmm. just call me once Preach. a week to see if I'm alive, <laughs> what state I'm in. Other than that, like, I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. So then, how do you keep up with family and stuff? Do they just understand? Um, well, my, my, I'm the child that's always everywhere. So, oh, that's so they know. So, yeah, yeah, they like, Nothing new. No, we didn't know what she's doing. <laughs> I, yeah, Out and about. <laughs> yeah, I left the house at 18, and they call them, what state are you in? Are you alive? <laughs> oh, my gosh, girl, you was on a roll. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always been out and about. Yeah. <laughs> that's something like, how old are you guys? Where was I at that age? Yeah, I was... Yeah, I somewhere. Lived, yeah. <laughs> I've I've moved seven times when I was in my twenties. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. So yeah, no. How was that? Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Amazing. What state should you go to? Oh God, um, Baltimore. Okay. <laughs> um, Miami. Okay. Vegas, Ooh. Dallas, Houston. Mm-hmm. Back to Baltimore. Back to Miami, and now I'm back. In New Jersey, but I don't think we'll have stayed there long, but whatever. Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued on Jersey. <laughs> I don't want to be there, but I have to be there because New, New York is my element right. yeah. as far as the fashion. But if I can go overseas, that would be utterly amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Where would you go? Where's your first place? It's between South Africa or Shanghai. Oh, mm-hmm. wow. Those aren't typical. Yes. I, I like that. Yeah, it's between those. So. Do okay. they have really good um, fashion dishes, yeah. or are they kind of booming right now? Yeah. Okay. Colorful, booming layers. I love it. Yep. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. And now, romantic relationships. <laughs> it's just it. <laughs> sip, sip, sip. As the mimosas come in. Um, as far as romance, yeah, he had. They have to be aligned with like your husband. Especially with you being a female and you're going to come across a lot of males. Males are insecure. They just don't want to say it, but um, <laughs> <laughs> as you get older, like, they definitely let you know. But, yeah, romance is... It's, like, nonverbal. You can tell the insecurities. Some males are verbal. Some are not. I don't okay. want to say all are, but it's, like, 50-50. But, um... Yeah, it's hard out here. <laughs> well, being the residential single person in our group, uh, yes, it is rough. <laughs> yeah, these two are in. Um... Oh, yeah, that was definitely me in my 20s. <sighs> yeah, they're in relationships. And now everyone else is like married with kids, and I'm just yeah. like, girl, I don't know what y'all talk about. <laughs> I'm still trying to be like, that's sorry. We ain't there yet. <laughs> we ain't there yet. <laughs> don't count us out yet. <laughs> do you ever mix uh, business with pleasure? No, I do not. No, okay. no, no messiness. No, wow. no, no. I was, I was about to be like, "What? What messy story do you have?" Yeah, no. I tell them at the beginning, like, "Yeah, no, we're not going there. We're not mm-hmm. going there. If you want to make a romantic move, you have to cut this business off, like mm-hmm. yeah. after this, and it's not going back any either." either. Mm-hmm. So yeah, no, no business pleasure. Mm. I can dig it. Make that mm-hmm. money. Yeah, no. I know that's right. <laughs> Listen. She said no. Have you ever had to um, end projects because that line was crossed and there wasn't yep. an understanding? Yeah. Mm. I know that's right. Were you, was it hard to move? Like, yeah, like how no. did you address that? Yeah. yeah. No. Well, he, <laughs> I like you. She's like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I like her too. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend. Oh, oh my god! And I'm like, you talking to me like this, and you got a girlfriend? I would never. 
after this. You know, like, yeah. So understand though, like you're doing this to her. So like, what's going to happen when right. we're together? Like, <laughs> and you're just being messy because then you're bringing it into the workspace. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, I'm mm. like, yeah, no. I didn't know he had a girlfriend at all until like a situation where we were like stranded at the train station. Yeah, so, you know. Oh my God. Messy, messy, messy. messy. So messy. Absolutely. So yeah, we had to cut that off. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, next. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I'm assuming that anything, any type of relationship that interferes with your work, you're willing to kind of cut that off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you're not messing up my name because you can easily just type in my name in right. Google mm-hmm. and it comes up. Mm-hmm. And my name is not common, so I come right up. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You yeah, know, we're not doing that. And it's a small circle in New York. Like, yeah. Once yeah. you start rubbing elbows, it kind of just gets kind of crazy. So, mm-hmm. you yeah, know, you're not messing up my future. Mm-mm. Your reputation's everything and your yeah. name. Yeah. Well, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Can men and women be platonic in relationship like can they have that platonic like platonic friendship like with you like there's a creative element you're probably Mm -hmm. vibing and talking and and feeling in depth like how do you make it sure that it stays platonic me and my cousin was just talking about this um i think it can it's just as long as you guys kind of know what page you're on Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. communication i think is everything and i don't Mm -hmm. think everyone communicates very well because we got this digital age Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, as long as you kind of ask each other, like, what, what is your purpose for the relationship? Mm. Um, From the beginning. Yeah, front right. Yeah. yeah. If you guys are, like, hanging out a lot, I'm mm-hmm. going to just say, ask the question. Because yeah. just in case they kind of get their feelings, they get in their feelings, you kind of mm-hmm. just need to ask. Yeah, that's when um, you can get messy. Yeah, because right. you can be leading someone on and not even know it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Without being well, intentional also, about it. What I'm feeling like is, like, men, for some reason, they... If you're hanging out with a woman and you're having like you know conversation and you're kind of caring about them, they sometimes think like, oh yeah, you want me to be your man? Like it's like whoa, like we, that's what friends do too, right? Right. So there's like a little bit of a, I don't know, like a confusion that happens. Like he just can't be friendly with a man for some reason. Just like become a friend. It's like either you're a girlfriend or you're leading me on. It's like, can we have? Where's in between? Yeah, like we're <laughs> in between that. So I think it is hard though because like. <laughs> Um, just like kind of bringing this from personal experiences from us as well. Like, I feel like it is hard for me personally to have like relationships, friendships with guys. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's all, it's never been oh, yeah. like, I just want to be a friend. Or it's like that whole, you try to be a friend from the beginning. And, and then the it's going. You're like, whoa. Benefits. Yeah. <laughs> friends with benefits. <laughs> no, it wasn't even no <laughs> benefits. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't even no benefits. <laughs> benefits. <laughs> it's just like, no, that was never what happened a part to of the plan. Yeah. yeah. So. Do you two have trouble? I'm not even sure if you guys make like um Yeah, I have no guy friends. I have no guy friends. I, <laughs> yeah. it's not even because I'm mm-hmm. in a relationship. It's just I just don't have I just I feel like it's just an unspoken confrontation that I just don't even have time for. Yeah. Like cause even if I if I only saw the guy as a friend, I just want to make sure he sees himself as a friend. Right. And then I'd also because I live with my boyfriend, so I don't want him to you know, it's just, Still, it's just messy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I just don't want it to be a bigger mess than it should be because as being adults, you should be able to have however many friends you want. Yeah. But it's just like, I don't, I wouldn't want to disrespect my boyfriend. So it's like, I don't want to be friends with someone and then they start thinking like, you know, because guys are like, oh, you can't have yeah, friends. They, they, and it's <laughs> like, do y'all share friends? I hope. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, it's a mix. <laughs> so what's going to happen if you guys break up? That's going to be a disaster. I mean, I have sides. friends. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, not like that. Yeah, not yes, like that. Like, no. we haven't, like, yeah, have, like, mixed group of friends. So yeah. it's like, I have my friends and he has his friends, but it's, like, kind of cordial. Like, if they can't yeah, hear, exactly. yeah. so we can all Same. Yeah. kick it. And, yeah. yeah. But we don't have, like, but mutual, if like we break up, close he's friends. Taking with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> take him. So what? Take to do with me. <laughs> take your friends. <laughs> Do you guys yeah. just not have opportunity to find like guy friends? Is that kind of what it is? Yeah, it's the same. Like yeah. I never run into it really. Yeah. Like, I can barely find a man. I can to be take cordial you on a with another guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, I don't have like I don't even like, come, and we were just talking about that. I feel like even if it gets to the point like if we're like in the store and someone's like, oh, oh yeah, are you grabbing like, something? I'm like, whoa, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> that just happened to me this morning. <laughs> So, so I do need to fix that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have a boyfriend, sir. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, damn, I was just asking if you need a 
help with that. Like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> and when you're not fine, right. I'm struggling to lift these bags. And I'm like, I can really use some help. <laughs> but I got it. But I got it. <laughs> the whole independent woman starts yeah. coming in. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. That's yeah. funny. So are you currently dating? Oh, God. I don't even know what you want to call it, but yeah, I guess. <laughs> I call it a situationship. It's a situationship. It's not even that. No? I'm just not like an openly vulnerable person mm-hmm. because when I'm in it, like I'm like all the way in it. I don't like playing these little games, the tat the tat, and going through my Instagram. And I, I'm just, I'm over it. I hate it. Um, but yeah, um, I um, concur. It's- <laughs> It's for the birds. I'm, I'm dating. Uh, it's hard. Right? Like, like, dating like, or something I like that. To. I know. Like, it's like, I, I want to. I'm enthusiastic. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking to um, Mo about this, and it's like, I'm trying to bring this word back. Lovers. I want a lover. Oh, I want yeah, someone that, yeah, yeah, like, I I like someone that I can, you know, have intimate sex with. Like, that's not just, like, you just... I don't know, pound an enemy and it's just like, bye. But like, have fun. Like, be able to talk to you when we're together. We have this type of dynamic that's intimate, but it doesn't have to be like a label like, oh yeah, you're my girlfriend. But it's like, mm-hmm. when we're together, we're lovers. We enjoy each other. And then when you're not in my face or when we're not together, we go do our separate things. Nobody wants to be lovers. Everybody wants to be a fuck buddy, but nobody wants to be a buddy. <laughs> like, where's yeah. the buddy part? <laughs> <laughs> Like, where you at, friend? That's what I was saying, too. Like, how we maybe just talked about it. But I think, too, like, I think as soon as, like, that whole emotion, that dependence, kind Mm -hmm. of, Mm -hmm. of, like, emotional stability, when guys kind of see that, that's when they're like, whoa, now you're trying to step into being my girl. Like, you know what I mean? They don't see it as, like, how are we having sex, dating, and you also want me emotionally? Like, you're my girlfriend. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is. You want to be a girlfriend. That's the thing is, like, because I'm actually trying to be poly. I'm trying to really get into that um, that that realm. And I don't want to be someone's girlfriend. Like, I don't think I could be with someone for the rest of my life, just one person. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just want to have intimate moments with certain people. Like, that's it. Like, two or three people that I have intimate moments with that I really enjoy, and there's nothing more than just respect between us, but we don't need labels. Like, I'm not, you know, trying to be married do tomorrow. You think it, like, do you think it's harder for that, like, those type of situations to get complicated, though? Like, when emotions are involved? Right. Yeah. Well, so with Polly, like, you really need to be upfront about everything. Like, mm-hmm. because you're dealing with multiple people. Like, I think people think of Polly, it's where, like, you just fuck anybody and it's just whatever. But, like, you still have boundaries. So it's like if I was dating someone and I'm poly and they're poly, okay, so we have, like, we come to an understanding within our relationship. Like, okay, I'm able to have sex with other people. You know, um, maybe they want to meet them and I'm okay with that. Like, there's different things that you can negotiate. Every poly relationship is completely different. Um, But if you're upfront about it, that's what it is. Like, you continuously have to talk. And I don't think in monogamous relationships, you kind of get away with not talking about certain shit Mm -hmm. because it's kind of, like, assumptions of, like, Oh yeah, well they're not gonna cheat, and you're not gonna do this, you're not gonna mm-hmm. do that. So you don't have to talk about other stuff. Mm-hmm. But with Polly, you do, because you know, they might. It's a different situation. Yeah, they might come home with a person, you know, mm-hmm. or come, you know, be at their home with a person, and then you show up for brunch, and, and then they, they didn't do. tell you. And then it goes and now down. You got the, yeah, now you got this like <laughs> awkward situation where you're meeting their new lover, and they're like, ah, like <laughs> they didn't tell them that they're Polly, so you know, oh, like that was like, yeah, what? it's like it can be, it can get very messy, no very parts. very fast, but. <laughs> I'm scared to have a male friend. <laughs> like, no part. <laughs> Too complicated for me. <laughs> but like, I, I like that idea, though. But I think that's best for me. But, like, mm-hmm. people, they're not, not everybody's poly. Like, mm-hmm. that's just how it is. Some people are monogamous, and that's fine. It'll be guys, mm-hmm. though, who, like, don't want a relationship, but don't want you to also sleep with other people or date other people. Of course. So, so, like, so, you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Like, you haven't even told me you liked me. <laughs> but you don't want me to like somebody else or, like, But you, know, you haven't told me you liked Right. So it was like, what is it when you want to only be with, uh, what they said, what is it, um, what do you call it when you don't want the other person to be with anybody else, but you don't want to like commit Selfish. to them? A and they were like, they were like mental illness because of that. It's abusive. It's abusive. Yeah, but like, it's crazy. But no, like some guys want to pull an Akbar, which is not okay. <laughs> I feel like you always reference Akbar. Because Akbar is crazy. Like, but, because you know why Akbar do, like, is toxic? Because these are men that do this, is that they'll have multiple women not be up front with them. 
and lure them in, give them all this, like, you put in all this emotional energy and all this stuff, and then you get hooked into someone, and then boom, it's like, oh, by the way, if you want to still keep messing with me, uh, you got to deal with all this other shit, these two other women or three my other women or my, my wife. Girlfriend. Yeah. Right. And it's like, that's not fair. Like, that's not fair. That should be spoken about up front that you're in a poly relationship, that that's what you right. do. Because also, I don't think with Akbar, I don't think, uh, what's her name? This is Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, Love and Hip Hop. Love and Hip Hop. Uh, yeah, Tina Marie. Like two Hollywood. seconds. Yeah, I was like, who is Tina Marie? Tina is Marie? this an issue? What's her name? Tierra Marie. T- Tierra Marie. Oh, um, How to make a girl feel. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Akbar wouldn't have let her, or and it shouldn't even be a let, but wouldn't have let her had another man come, mm-hmm. like, and dating another man while he was with her. That would have been, like, a, probably a no, though. So... That's not healthy. It's just like that's not this healthy. whole one-sided yeah, situation. Yeah, one-sided situation. When well, I start thinking about this, it just makes me, it makes my head hurt. Yeah, it's like, complicated. What is it's happening in this world? <laughs> <laughs> that's why I get so intrigued by these conversations. Yeah, I'm just like, this is happening? <laughs> if I was dating somebody, you tell me you have a, not only a wife, but also a girlfriend. Who are. And they're cool with the all situation. All in one relationship. Yeah, yeah. One and now relationship. I have to go figure out where I play a part. Fit in. Yeah. For you? Yeah, that's what happens in this world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of people are open to a lot of things. They just don't talk about it in front of you. You'll be very surprised. And mm-hmm. this is the thing. It's cool if you're open with it, but I don't think you should just kind of sway people mm-hmm. into your yeah. life. That's you were the, saying, being man- up front yeah. with that's it. That's the manipulative yeah, part of be it. be up front. That's the, man- that's, that's this not is what the, the situation is. That's I, the abusive, unhealthy part mental of illness. That. <laughs> Yeah, Mental yeah. illness. I completely like understand the aspect of not wanting to be with one person for the rest of your life. Yeah. Like, Trust me. But it's just the simple fact of the lies that have to go yeah. with it. Like yeah. it's the manipulation. <laughs> it's like, you yeah. already yeah. have two women, so yeah. why do you have to <laughs> lie for a third <laughs> one? <laughs> like, just, just let me know, <laughs> and I can decide if I yeah. want to be a part of it exactly. or not. But I think also guys do that just with monogamous dating. They'll instead of saying, you know what, all I want is to just fuck you every couple of weeks. That's why or every I couple... ask all types of questions yeah. on the first day. I don't mm-hmm. care when the last time you took a HIV test. Mm-hmm. When yeah. the last time Get you them, got Yeah, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> Do you have a baby? Baby on the way. Right. Like, do you yeah. have a baby on the way? Yeah, on the way. <laughs> is it about to drop? Yeah. Like, it? Yeah. I had one of those before. Like, oh, I don't have any kids. Oh, but my girl, ex girl, is about to go into labor in two weeks. Excuse me. Bye, exactly. sir. What? Like, come on. What? <laughs> and we were friends. <laughs> right. I can't. I just can't. We were friends. <laughs> yeah. But you can't. Like, you got to be real upfront about stuff. Like, yeah. It, but it's annoying though because some people will really go out of their way to lie like I shit. Like, like and some people are really good at it. Some uh-huh. people are really good at just lying. Yeah. And then you get caught and then you like the first thing you ask is, damn, how did I miss that? And it's like some people are just good at fucking lying. Yeah. Like that's what they do. They're yep. good at conning. Like, but also I think we've said this before, you can't just tell everybody all your whole life. Up before, front. Up front, because if you're like, oh, I've had uh, abusive boyfriends, and oh, nobody's ever like treating me to dinner, and nobody's doing this and that, all they got to do is hit those little check marks. You're like, oh, this is what I can get away and with. Then, yeah, yeah, and then you hit the, that's what you'll accept. You'll be like, oh, man, he bought me dinner. He took me down to AC, and now. <laughs> <laughs> Sis. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, y'all are living on a boardwalk. <laughs> y'all were at Abscon. <laughs> And now it's like he teaches you with a little bit of respect. He'll call you and check up on you. And now you feel loved and that's it. And then, but I mean, as you get older, your thrust kind of just goes up. You should. It should. It should. It should. So the stuff that y'all talking about, I'm just like, oh yeah, no. You need to (laughs) step your shit up. Yeah. Yeah, no. I done been through that by 25. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no. I got my own money now. Yeah. Yeah. It got to a point, like, in college, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. If it has to be being single and not having no dick for, like, (laughs) it's not worth it. It's not worth the self-respect and the lies. As I told Erica, I told um, Honey yesterday, I'll take that out. (laughs) I'll take that out <laughs> just because that would be a space so I can yeah. remember. But um, I told Honey yesterday, like, first of all, I'm not even. I will be single <laughs> for three years uh. before <laughs> five years. I don't yeah. care how many years before I, like, get into these situations. Yeah. Like, it's just some of the stuff is like, come on, sis. Yeah, like, like <laughs> and I've been self worth. For about, I think it's going on three years now. I've been, like, completely single. And 
it feels good. Like now I'm like on a little celibacy kick. Hey. Yeah. And I just feel good because it's like I'm working on my money. I'm getting better in myself. Like, no niggas in my face doing, like, bullshit. Like, I just don't even have time for it. Like, if you don't meet certain criteria before even speaking to me, I can't. Like, if the first thing you talk about is something sexual, not you can get the fuck out my face. Out my DM. You can get out of my face. You shouldn't even be DMing anybody. Like, you know, who responds to that? Some people. You'd be surprised. I've had some crazy messages you'll be surprised so i just love you took up via dm like which is crazy i didn't i didn't think that i thought yeah. they always had their little i need to shoot yeah, my shot know. to something yeah. today <laughs> i was so <laughs> it like popped up like uh, what's his name michael b jordan slid into like a random email uh dm oh, yeah, really? and i was just like for one i don't know if i would even respond or am i like all right i'm gonna set myself up to get played oh, yeah. i was look is this verified i know yeah, <laughs> I was, like, like, is this lot? real yeah i'll be like <laughs> Wrong person. Right. <laughs> Did you get the wrong mode? Was it an extra underscore? Right. <laughs> I don't know. My girl, with uh, you being a public figure, do you get a lot of DM slides? Just I actually it? don't. All okay. right. I'm just someone look at my DM and they was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, but if you come walk with me, you'll definitely see. But yeah, my yeah. DM. Uh, oh yeah, we need to do a walk in uh, New York. Yeah, <laughs> it will be a mess. <laughs> It's just the whole idea of like, do guys like, is it the cat calling or is it just, yo, ma, where you going? Uh, I'm trying to go with you. Oh my God. <laughs> you got a boyfriend. Do you uh, let you have friends? Is this no. 2002? What is this? Yeah, it's yeah like, they still do that. Yeah. And I'm like, don't touch. Smack the hand. Um, what? Don't touch me, sir. Yeah, don't touch me. I got I something for you. Don't touch been. me. Yeah. <laughs> Do they um, really touch you? Like, they really try to grab your hand? Yeah, I have a knife on me sometimes. I'm, As you should. should. Yeah. <laughs> She's ready. You should. Yeah, That's yeah, really uncomfortable. Yeah, city is crazy, though. New York City? Yeah. Um, don't, especially don't touch my clothes. Like, yeah. don't be, keep your fingers to yourself. Yeah. Like, don't be, just be like, yeah. <laughs> Not the dry like, cleaning, sir. Your <laughs> like, you too close. It even gives you the right to be like, don't touch me. <laughs> Please don't. don't. Know me. Please don't. <laughs> Yeah, they're crazy. Um, yeah, especially in New York. New yeah. York is crazy. Yeah. Miami crazy. is crazy. Because mm-hmm. you got them mm-hmm. Im- immigrants. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't know English. When you start cursing them out. Yeah, yeah Poppy. I know some Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Get his ass right together. Right. <laughs> you know body language. I'm telling you to back the fuck up. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. Stop, Stop sir. This <laughs> From oh my God. your face. <laughs> <laughs> this made me think about Miami. So with you um, traveling and being all over the place and going different places, I'm pretty sure you established like friendships all over. But have of you course. ever done long distance dating? I have. Are you currently? No. Oh, okay. I'm trying no, to get some mess. Was, <laughs> yeah, no. no tea. Oh, I know no tea. tea. No tea. <laughs> yeah, the last relationship I was with, we we tried a long distance thing, and then I went over to the West Coast. It did not work out, and mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah, no, it's time to. Time, time to, to cut ties. Time to go. What do you I think is your hardest? Energy. What do you think is like <laughs> the hardest just... part about like long distance relationships? Um, you don't know what the hell they doing. Mm-hmm. Trust just, factor. Yeah, you don't know what the hell they doing on a on a note. What he was doing, like he was definitely stacking his money up. Like he 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 an animal doctor. So mm. them girls was looking at him, and I'm just mm. like, the fuck you doing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you just don't know what the hell they're doing. Mm-hmm. Is it hard to have your life, like, you're building one life and he's on the other co- side of the country building another life? Like, right. was it hard to, like, blend that together? Yeah. Like, it was. And then I also was confused because I was not liking my job. I mean, mm-hmm. I liked my patience or whatever, but I just was not liking my job. Um, and I kind of was taking my aggression out on him. Mm-hmm. And he still was kind of, you know, just trying to calm me down. But I went over there and I was just like, yeah, no, I, I need to change Mm-hmm. He was happy in his field, and I was just like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in my life. Like, what am I doing? Yeah. Right. Um, I was like 25, he was 30, and I'm just like, I'm, gotta figure I'm figure still, it out. I'm universe. slowing you down. Yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, but I still got my place over here. I still was not living with him. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, I just needed to figure it out. And I was just like, we, we, we got to part ways. Mm-hmm. I think that's what's best. And do you I'm, try to part way? Well, when you do in a relationship, do you try to part them as? kindly as possible like so that a bridge isn't burned or the way you're looking at me she's looking at me like i'll do whatever i gotta do no i'm just thinking about my cousin i'm just thinking about my conversation i was like she's looking at me that what's the technique 
like, I, 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 I was like, wait, what? I'm thinking about the conversation with me and my cousin because my cousin's like, you are just so blunt. Um, but you have to be. Yeah, you yeah. do sometimes. You have to be. Because blunt. like, it's so easy. Like, especially I feel like. It's easy for people to walk over you in general. Yes. And then when a man sees that, oh. You can just do it. I can just, I don't got to try. Like you said, like, oh, she just wants me to be nice and text her back. Cool. (laughs) Let me just do that. Um, I don't know. I'm so blunt. People have been telling me, like, I'm just so mean, but I mean well. It's the truth, though. But I can at least talk to all my exes. It's only one. That I can't, because I curse him out good. <laughs> um, did he deserve it? Yes, he did. Okay. okay. Right. <laughs> um, but I can talk to all my exes. Like I can call them up and they fine. But no, I, I'm 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 blunt. Uh, I think there's a good thing about being. I have a friend that is super super blunt. And she's from New York. And when I first started meeting her, like, she would tell me stuff. I'd be like, I need you to soften that blow, please. Like, oh, you're coming from my, yeah, from my fucking that. soul. But sometimes, like, when people, to... like, you just, nowadays, like, I'm just kind of like, no, that's how it is. Like, yeah. Keep it moving. How, how you feel about the situation is how you feel. Like, I understand to mm-hmm. a certain degree, but mm-hmm. I'm doing what's best for me. So, I think that's yeah. the biggest part of just, like, you know, just in career, relationships, anything, just personal you just have to, like, really do what's best for you. Yeah, like, you know right. what I mean? Like, regardless of how somebody said something, did something, you're like, you know what? To be honest, it wasn't working for me anyway. <laughs> like, I didn't want to, like, I didn't see any growth in this anyway or any change or whatever the case may be. Like, yeah. if it's not, you have to really get to the point, if it's not benefiting me, making you grow, then why am I here? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Like, and that's, I think, the biggest part of transitioning into adulthood because... Yeah. Don't nobody teach you nothing. No, 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 no. no they do not. <laughs> don't know how to talk. Don't know how to communicate. Definitely don't know how to communicate. Oh, it's it's so hard. Yeah, this current time of just everything being online. No yeah, one knows so how to have like a conversation. Yeah, like so I just yeah, was... randomly go up to people and they kind of just like freeze. I'm just like, They're like, are you talking? To... Why are you making right. eye contact? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? <laughs> Why are you looking like, at me in my eyes? <laughs> that we're in a time when people are like I don't trust you they looked at me dead in my face and it's like so you now you know what they look like right I mean <laughs> but still though in Philly though I still won't look people dead in their eyes when I'm down there like when I'm in Philly like, I, I, know, look you I, know, I know what that means me <laughs> <laughs> I won't look you dead in your I'll eyes be, like, I'll be looking <laughs> I, I don't I don't not when I'm in Philly like I'll glance but that whole, like that steady eye hold like I feel like well that's to get to like hi <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Like, I like your necklace. Me? Yes, you. Yes, you. The that one staring at, at me. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm good for that one. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I don't like that whole awkward like. I don't that like pause. Yeah, this. I don't like the. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, is, this your, is this your plot? <laughs> like, because once again, if you've been staring at me, I need to know. Like, now I'm like, okay, well, they're this tall. They're this. Yeah, they're know, about to snatch me up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, right? I need to know. I sense real quick. We're in time. Like, times are crazy. They're... People are crazy. Mm-hmm. Careers are crazy. Romance is crazy. It is. Yes, life is crazy. crazy. But I'm having fun, though. That's, that's, good. that's, that's the best part. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best part. How do you part. find dates? Let me know, because I need help. Um, how do you find dates? <laughs> I've tried the online dating thing. Mm. I hate it. It um, was terrible. I cursed out my mentor. <laughs> I was like, don't you ever create another profile for me <laughs> ever again. Oh, my I God. I should do one just because. I, I just want to see. I should, <laughs> re- I should be collecting them like Pokemon. Like, I don't even <laughs> message them. Because I'm like. It's terrible. It um, is. Nobody knows how to talk. But I just go to, like, random. I've been going to, like, random um, classes. Mm-hmm. I just, like, pick, like, a painting class or whatever and just randomly just go up to people and just, you know, just have, like, a conversation with them and see if the conversation, like, kind of just vibes, vibes and just yeah. kind of go off of that. Because um, the whole internet thing and the algorithms and all yeah. this, and I'm just like, I don't want no more crazies. <laughs> so I just been just been meeting people, like, randomly. Real life. <laughs> I need, yeah, I need to know vibes because you're wasting my time right yeah. now. I went on a date, I think, sometime last year, this year, and my dude was, like, 5'6", and I'm 5'5", and I wore heels, so it was just awkward from jump, so I was like, ah. 
ah, shit. So, <laughs> was he nice? No. no. All he did was like, <laughs> he, 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 no, no, okay. I stayed. I didn't okay. just like two step okay. user. Okay. That's rude. I'm not okay. rude. Okay. Just slowly walk out. We, um, we sat down. Oh, no. So, he was like, do you want to get a drink? I was like, okay. And anyone that knows me, I like a man that treats me. I like that. I like that oh, yeah. man that is a gentleman. Like, you should at least buy me a drink, sir. Something. Did y'all talk before y'all went on a date? Like, yeah, we, like, kind of had exchange on, like, okay. the message or whatever. Text message or a conversation? Text message. I didn't oh, do a conversation. Okay. I just went like, on the phone, phone right? Yeah, yeah. I was like... People don't want to talk on the phone either. Oh, they, they, they can conversation. Yeah. I like conversation. But he didn't want yeah, to talk no, on the phone. I'm, I'm, weird. Not, I'm not texting you back. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like that's back. the whole thing too. Like with this whole like, because like I met my boyfriend face to face. You know, old school. <laughs> so it's just like. <laughs> I mean, you can tell me you anybody. Like, you can really yeah. have me thinking you, like, oh, my uh, God, this is my man. Like, his <laughs> profile was really good. That's like, what I'm saying. And we started vibing and having a conversation. I can, tell, him shit. I can yeah. tell him, like, I could be anybody. And yeah. then I go and I'm like. He comes I and he talk. literally. <laughs> I don't eat nothing. I'm just, like, weird as fuck. <laughs> like, who is this? This is about his neighbor. About how his neighbor bullied him. Nobody wants to hear this. And Al, like, she was stealing his mail and all this stuff. Like, I was like, I um. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> like, well, yeah, that's why I need a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I need a conversation FaceTime. And also, like, voices. Like, yeah. Because yeah. your voice, you might be texting that shit, and then your voice is like, it don't match so that. So, what do you want to eat today? Yeah, <laughs> it don't match. Your voice got to match what you're saying. It has to match. It has yeah. to match. Emails, text messages, social media is all a big blur to me as yeah. far as the phone. Yeah. Like, no, I need. I need conversation mm-hmm. or at least like a coffee date or something mm-hmm. where we can just drink and then it, you can just go. But That's you what know. it was. It was just, we were just grabbing a drink. Like we like, it was no dinner, no drink. It was just like grabbing a drink. I still how need goes, a conversation first. Yeah. yeah. I need a conversation first. You're wasting my time. So I when you're having that conversation, like what vibe are you looking for? Like what is um, it? What is, what is it could, that clicks? Well, the, first, conversation. the first one is holding a conversation. <laughs> Cause on and the phone then, you can't be. Right. Yeah. Pause. Yeah, that like do that yeah, the little yeah. dots come up. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that. First I look for if he could hold a conversation, then I see like what kind of things he's, you know, talking about in the conversation mm-hmm. because if he's talking about some dog and neighbor bullshit, like, mm, I'm gonna call you back. I, <laughs> I need to bring this customer up. Like, I, I, I need to hear about goals, if you're trying to have kids, marriage, like yeah. I need to Do you to bring know. that up in the first? Yes. Okay. She's actually blunt. <laughs> I'm yes. it. I'm trying to get this energy. Yes. Let's teach me, Sensei. Like, teach yes. me, Master. Let, let, let me yeah, know. Yeah, like, what, well, like, what, is your, what, what are your long-term goals? Like, what are your short-term goals? Like, mm-hmm. what what did you do as a child? Like, I want to know those things. Like, yeah. what are you trying to have kids? Are you not trying to have kids? How's your relationship important? with your parents? Yeah. Yeah. That tells a lot, too. Oh, that, yeah, too. Do. No, the mother. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The Especially mother. the mother. Yeah. Especially the mom. The mother first. Because she could either the mother be, first. She'd be yeah. crazy or... It could be, like... Oh, I don't really talk to my mom. Or it could be, I love my mom. And yeah. it's like, mm, <laughs> I can recall, I'm gonna call my that. mom about this after I am done with you. Like, mm, I told okay. my mom I was going out tonight, and it's like, wait a minute, oh, yeah. like, yeah. mom boy. Oh I yeah, can't. yeah. I can't. yeah no, we're not doing those. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing those. Like, I'm not doing. You hate your mom, and I'm not doing. You love your mom too much. And yeah, not too boy. much. Like yeah. I want you to respect your mom, of course, and love yeah, her, but not be. But you can live overly, your life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What else? Exactly. Like no, we're not doing that at all. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> we're not. <laughs> Hovering over, like no. Mm-mm. But yeah, I need a conversation first, and then we can step out, and mm-hmm. then from there, whatever. But yeah, no, no text. You're not getting a text message from me <laughs> unless I'm like I'm late. There's yeah. traffic. I'll respond to that. But yeah, other than that, no text messages, social media, emails, and what's up app. Like that's all a blur to me. Yeah. No. So no. do you think it's too much if like you do start messaging a guy and they're like, oh, do you want to do like FaceTime, or is that like perfect for you? Because you like now I can see face. I can hear what you're talking about. Am I into him or am I not? A little bit. On you're interested. Bench. I'm mm-hmm. on the fence. Um, <laughs> take the FaceTime. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, take, I, I'll take it. Okay. Take it. <laughs> if we just start now, uh-uh, you doing too much. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> It's too much. Okay. I feel like FaceTime could slowly <laughs> slide a... into like I'm seeing your dick and it's yeah, like no, like, what you got yeah. on? Like, yeah, yeah, like what like, you got FaceTime on? Is like, very like, yeah. like a little like, intimate. It'll be 
like up here, like you can see his face, yeah, and then all of a sudden you pan yeah, out, and this nigga naked. Like, <laughs> yeah, we still got this conversation. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, y'all. y'all it's one o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday. They I am care. wearing my work clothes. They, they can go don't right care. on Instagram and see see butt ass naked. Yeah, no, they don't care. They don't care. Social media has demolished everything, but yeah, they don't care. Do you find it hard to find men that will actually talk to you on the phone? No. Mm-mm. Girl, I need to. Wherever you but are, but it's also I need too be. like, <laughs> what is the age range? Like, I obviously like. Oh yeah, you don't over say. thirty. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, over okay. thirty. Okay, so we got we yeah, got yeah, somewhere. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Over thirty, and they cannot smoke. I do not like smoke. Oh yeah, cigarettes or weed. Both. Okay. I don't like. I don't like smelling like smoke. I don't mm. like being around it. Like, please clean your breath, brush it. Like, I don't. You, was you smoking today? Because I can smell it. Yeah. No, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> I was like, because you said you blunt. I was like, wait, who yeah, me? Yeah, I thought no, no, that no. one. I was like, not me. I'll definitely not me. ask. <laughs> yeah, I don't like smokers. I'll deal with the kids. I, in my twenties, I was like, yeah, I don't want no yeah. guy with no kids, but I'm mellow. But yeah, it's over thirty and no. Smoking. Once you hit thirty, some things have to start changing. Yeah. That whole, I think, ideal of like, oh, I'm not taking this and I'm not taking that, out. and you gotta start being like, well. Once I always say too, like, well, what are you bringing to the table, sis? Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you want this, 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 and that. Yeah, and bringing this, and you're not even telling me you a low key alcoholic. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It's like low key, like. <laughs> so you have to start really, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, no. Bring back talking on the phone. Yeah, <laughs> falling phone. asleep on the phone. Oh my the god! I know. Oh my god! Yes. 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 <laughs> For a oh, while, my times. relationship in the beginning. When you did it, good times. When you All woke up in the morning and it's still there, you're like, yeah. Yeah, I'm really there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's really cute. Oh, but it's warm like, my heart. I know, those right? little moments, like it's cute. Like I don't know, it's just it's just more personal. Everything is very fast, fast, quick, quick, yeah. quick. So getting on the phone is too much. Text messages only takes like what 10, 10 seconds. And then I really don't like the whole text messaging thing because I don't like the whole you got to pretend. To like not see it for like forty three minutes. Yeah, and I'm then, not doing that. I'm like, if oh, I, I'm if you text, yeah, how does that work? You guys like text right back, like, well, or I, do you, see, you I have a, know what I like? like I you have a waiting that. time. I, I ain't doing all that. Some like, people I, do I didn't want to do that, you but like guys, I don't want to look thirsty. I'm not responding. Oh, if they text, okay. When they get my number, and I'm like, I hope you call. And if he says why, I'm not responding to your text message. I only communicate via phone. And you're living a fast lifestyle, so to be honest the best way to contact you would be phone, phone. Yeah. you know what i mean like texting is like i'm not looking at my phone my I phone could be yeah. over there exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> right. and it's more yeah. intimate it's like nice to be like okay i would just call yeah Even I if it's a two people, minute yeah. yeah i meet people on a daily basis exactly. and i'm just like if you want to attract me like i need to have a conversation yeah. not a text message like i said social media emails is all a blur because they all come to my phone yeah. hashtag bring the phone back yeah, no. Bring phone calls I'm, back. For, um, I'm not answering. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> I like that. Like yeah. that's supposed to be my mindset. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not texting back. And, 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 and it'll luck. say red. At <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you do that too. Oh, and you leave them on red. Spicy. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking like giving. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Sipping the mimosas, chit chatting, talking and whatnot. Talking, talking, talking to your girl Makara. Yes. So, last question for me: mm-hmm. How do you just balance this dating and life and entrepreneurship and just being this amazing woman that you you are? Like, how do you just balance everything? Like, um, definitely, I'm uh, I meditate mm-hmm. in oh. the morning, ten minutes. To myself when I get up, I meditate. Um, and just kind of just setting like goals. I mm-hmm. write down what I want to accomplish each day. I have like a journal of things I want to accomplish. Um, kind of scheduling stuff. Mm-hmm. But if I'm really into him, then I'll like Make pencil time. it. In, yeah. But just kind of just making like a daily visual board mm-hmm. and just kind of just going by my day. Um, as far as the dating thing, that has to be like more spontaneous because mm-hmm. as we live in this world, everyone's been going by this new digital age mm-hmm. rule. Um, but yeah, I just kind of just make like a daily visual board. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you just thing. always keep your goals in mind. You're not just mm-hmm. always focused. Yeah, small little goals that go to the big goals and just kind of work my way through it. 
Oh, that's right. That's oh, actually really positive. I think yeah. I should do that. That's mm-hmm. good. And yeah. what is your dream? What, like, what is like a project or something that you were just like, if I hit that, that's where it is? Um, I just want to be happy. I just don't want to feel like I'm working at all. I want to feel like I'm having fun. Every day is a fun day. And to have, yeah, my significant other. Mm-hmm. I don't really have like a set like I said I didn't expect to be in the fashion industry I just knew at the age of 14 I wanted to travel the world my parents still have the paper I don't know where the hell I'm going mm-hmm. when I graduate <laughs> high school I want to leave New Jersey and travel the world um yeah I just want to be happy travel have my significant other feeling like a best friend and and just create I like Aww. that. Oh, so well, big ups to your dreams and your goals and being out here, being a everything stylist. Being a model, boss. Being a boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah being just a boss. boss. <laughs> My last question, just for the fans, what advice would you give oh, yeah. to like new entrepreneurs? Um, Definitely feel comfortable saying no. Mm-hmm. No is a statement. No and you don't have to explain yourself when you say no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So definitely get comfortable saying no. Don't feel uncomfortable saying no. Know your worth because, you know, your time will come. Mm-hmm. That's Aww. nice. This say is no, business. guys. I know. Say no, yes. <laughs> say no. <laughs> yeah, that goes for career, relationships, everything. Because yeah. so one no it. opens up another door to yes. Mm-hmm. Right. So. You have any shout outs? Shout outs for the kids? Um, definitely shout out to all my crazy friends <laughs> <laughs> that I have been in, um, crossing paths with the old, the new, everyone, my team, um, shout out to my parents. Okay. Shout out to the parents. Mm-hmm. I have been crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Done got arrested, traveled the world. Wait, we didn't get that story. Wait, what? Yeah, that's <laughs> not the whole thing. I'm asking for the messiness <laughs> and I'm at some tea. Y'all are talking about relationships. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't talking about the tea. You ain't talking about the law. <laughs> I know, that's right. Don't say nothing. <laughs> but, it's not asked. <laughs> right. But yeah, shout out to the parents because I have been just, oh, I'm doing this. And F this. <laughs> <laughs> and they just have been there and just had to deal with it. But uh, shout out to the parents. Support oh, system. Yeah. Right. Because I have been everywhere, but thank God I'm not locked up. I'm not pregnant. I'm STD free. Yes. Never been pregnant. Never had an abortion. I'm good. 2018. Gotta do what you gotta do. Listen. Focus. Shaking and moving. Shaking and moving. <laughs> and where can the uh, brunchies find you at? You can f- definitely find me on Instagram. I'm more of an Instagram no t- Twitter. I'm just, I don't you know. You can't I'm get jiggy with Twitter. Yeah, me <laughs> yeah. So Instagram, you can find me, Makara, M underscore I underscore K underscore A underscore R underscore A Makara. Y'all with these underscores. Oh my gosh. Yes. You're worse than mine. <laughs> <laughs> they come at me every week. Why? <laughs> because I'm three underscores Mo with four E's and then someone four underscores. Has so I had your They're name. Not, yes, what is someone, someone has the regular Makara. It's like some Japanese person. They're not even on there. And then there's someone. <laughs> no, she was talking <laughs> about yeah. And then it's somebody else with the dots. And I'm just like, what the F is you doing? Right. <laughs> so and then these underscores are needed. <laughs> <laughs> and we will put it in the description as well, just in yep. case you forget an underscore. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys know you can find us at Red Bottom Brunch Yay. on Instagram. Yay. And all of your um, you know, your favorite host. Yay. Our plugs will be on the bottom. Yes. In the description. Yes. And you can find us with hashtags Red Bottom Brunch, mm-hmm. hashtags RBB Podcast, and hashtag RBB Gals. Yes. And we're gonna close this out, you know, with some more mimosas and are we doing yeah. anything clink? Yes. Anything okay. clink, clink. Thank you so much, Makara, for coming out here yes. and being our first interview. Yes. 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 You yes. pop the chair. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.